Good morning. For the past week, we have been examining the six candidates of African American descent to the sainthood. And today, we are going to just do a quick review of their lives. Our first candidate that we met was Servant of God, Sister Thea Bowman who was born in Mississippi and converted to Catholicism at a young age. And she was the first African-American member of the Franciscan Order of Perpetual Adoration. She was a mighty teacher and preacher and preached constantly about the gifts of black Catholics and was a mighty teacher and preacher at the Institute for Black Catholic Studies. And we asked Sister Thea Bowman to pray for us. Our next candidate is Servant of God Julia Greeley, who was born a slave in Missouri and eventually lived in Denver, Colorado. She was devoted to the sacred heart of Jesus and passed out information to firemen throughout Denver and also gave to the poor what she had. And we ask Servant of God Julia Greeley to pray for us. Our next candidate is Servant of God, Mother Elizabeth Lange of the Oblate Sisters of Providence. She, she helped to nurse the sick during a cholera outbreak and established many schools for African Americans, of which St. Francis Academy in Baltimore, Maryland is still in existence today. And we asked Mother Mary Lange to pray for us. Then we have Venerable Pierre Toussaint, who was born in Haiti and eventually lived in New York. He was a constant uh, mass attendee and was a philanthropist who gave freely to the poor and he helped to build orphanages and schools. His generosity is a model for Catholic charities, and we ask Pierre Toussaint to pray for us. Our next candidate is Venerable Augustus Tolton. He was the first recognized African-American priest in the United States. He was born a slave and escaped with his family to Illinois. Because of his skin color and his desire to be a priest, he had to be educated in Rome because no seminary in the United States would accept him. He was known for his sermons at, by blacks and whites. Father Augustus Tolton, pray for us. And our final candidate is Venerable Mo Mother Henriette DeLille of the Sisters of the Holy Family. She founded the order in New Orleans, Louisiana. She she and her companions took care of blacks, whites, and free people of color, especially during the yellow fever epidemic. She helped to establish nursing homes, schools, and orphanages, which many are still in existence today. The Lafon Nursing Home, which is across the street from the mother house in New Orleans, is one of the oldest nursing homes in the United States. And we ask Mother Henriette DeLille to pray for us. Now that we have reviewed these candidates, there will be, if you want to know more, there will be a Zoom meeting about these candidates on Wednesday. That's, that's tonight from 6 to 8 p.m. Please come out, learn more about the candidates, our moderator will be Canon Gerard Jordan, who is the special assistant to the moderator for Father Augustus Tolton. This event is being sponsored by the TSU Catholic Newman Center and supported by Sisters in the Spirit of Houston. Also, if you would like to know more about the candidates, or if you would like to donate to the causes, the email 
and phone numbers, addresses, and websites are on these next two slides for you to look at and help with these causes. Thank you for your time and God bless you.